Mr. Clemens, can you hear me? Like the bad angel on my shoulder. Is it some sort of hold up? It's so cold up your tower of Babel that my mustache could snap. Oh, no complaints from you. I had a pair of willing assistants ready to do your job. Young Hannah and Moisha are only a month shy of their wedding day. And you'd expose them to potential catastrophe? <laughs> Rogue, the romantic in May couldn't lie. Not to mention the publisher's advance. You'll get for a front row account of the greatest scientific discovery in history. We really need to talk about your shocking lack of self-confidence sometime, my friend. <laughs> What a bellyacher is this Clemens fella. I bet you're glad you don't have him for a companion. He sure does rattle off familiar, though. Uh, they were sent by Edison. He clearly thought it the height of hilarity to gift us, well, me, a bunch of his so-called light bulbs. <laughs> oh, laugh while you can. After tonight, your I workshop will be as somber as a funeral parlor. They wouldn't be a rival if he wasn't making even the smallest things a pain in the... Uh, they're a tool handy that'll get us into that box. Mr. Clemens. Can you hear me? Like the bad angel on my shoulder. Is it some sort of hold up? It's so cold up your tower of Babel that my mustache is fast. Oh, no complaints from you. I had the pair of little assistants ready to lights. do your job. Care to shed some light on the situation? Young Hannah and Moisha are only a month shy of their wedding day. And you'd expose them to potential catastrophe? <laughs> Rogue. The romantic in May couldn't lie. Not to mention the publisher's advance. You'll get for a front row account of the greatest scientific discovery in history. We really need to talk about your shocking lack of self-confidence sometime, my friend. <laughs> Tolstoy took less time to write War and Peace. Now to get the machines configured. Start with the frequency machine. And remember, they can only be turned on in order. Well, there's bound to be some way to turn that thing on. After you! Activate the switch, would you? 
Mr. Clemens, if you're still with us, can you check now the frequency for me? Oh, good old. A task to do. Well, numbers seem to align. Can I tug on this lever? Oh, patience. Well, fine then. I shall part of the opening stanza of what's shown to be the single piece of reportage that renders me immortal. How about wireless power? may strike one as quite odd, like catching a fish with no bait, no hook, no rod. <laughs> Another one down, or up, uh, whichever light travels. All right, let's get Can in the last the lights word at your end, final Mr. Clemens? Machine. Okay, two gases, and some strange kind of wind turbine. What in the hell is this? Hey, it's going. It's good enough. Sam, 
All right. That's it. Let's get the picture. You can flip the switch. Hold that lead, if you please. Really? Thank you once again, good friend, for making me a partner in this monumental event. Fingers on the trigger. And that's your problem.
Strange. That inscription on the back. Samuel L. Clemens. It's... A singularity. A black hole. In all my days. This calamity feels like the end of this here road. It seems with all our efforts here in time, stubborn in its ways, has been remade. Causing the black hole to see the force. We need to close this thing. Wow. What terrifying power. Its energy is potent. My clockwork is telling me it would be prudent not to leave it open. Hold your pretty horses. Do you think one of them vials we found in the sanctuary could be the answer to closing this portal? As much as your pants pocket seems to be a nice place, I think this black hole needs better room and board. Say like those vials back in the sanctuary. energy contained within this vial, it, but... That lit her up like an Easter mass. We've got our work cut out for us here. It's gonna require you to get your hands dirty with what looks like, uh, some programming? You'll need to handle this one yourself. My clockwork isn't proficient in these matters.
society. Wondrous. The very essence of a singularity distilled and reprogrammed. Well, that's one proverbial chapter done. But if we want to finish our so-called book, we need five full vials to get this thing fully ticking. Vials full of that stuff we get when we stabilize a timeline. That terrifying black hole energy. that smell. Bethel, New York. Late afternoon on August the 17th, 1969. What's doing? Huh, we need to find a key for that crane, I'd say. But perhaps, uh... We got to light the candles and match the colors of the flames to the candles themselves. It would be helpful if we could put them out somehow. Love. The colors just aren't finding the right home, dear. Keep going. The colors are starting to come home. Just aren't finding the right home, dear. Keep going. The colors. Oh, Harry. That's it. I see it. You have a lovely green aura. This means you're a balanced person who seeks balance for everyone. A good sort, in other words. That's the plus side. On the negs, you may be prone to envy. You got a touch of the green-eyed monster in you. I got it. This tonic here will expel anything untoward you may be storing inside you. Careful, though. It's a laxative. Very powerful, too. Well, damn. A drop or two She's will do She's a regular you. plumber. Um, Taking a leaf out of his book, off. ain't she? Unclogging pipes and all. To a, uh, no-clog person, this would be a flush out. Right? Knock them out of the picture. God, <laughs> my stomach! Eight, nine, ten. He's out for the count. Wonderful. Now we can get a fuller view. At last, fantastic. Well done. This should help us get the crane moving around in no time.
say goodbye. Take a goddamn bye. You've earned this. Now, let's follow up with something good. fun has changed up the tempo for the best. See if old shithouse Jim is ready to go. Hoo-wee! That crowd never ceases to amaze. I've never seen a turnout like this. Well, maybe for a royal procession. Or an execution. Looks like causation is coming into effect. Let's open that thing. All right, the bank. It's all coming together, but she's still not all there. That timeline is all kinds of jittery. We've got to finish the job. What a trip. Met this bird who was a bit all right that is until she bundles me into this bloody portaloo. Then things got real bizarro. I was told a meaning of life in here by a talking poo. I'm sure it's profound and all, but I couldn't concentrate. Bleeder had the worst breath. What? Is it showtime, Harry? What's your mug standing around for? Let's hit it. What the? Jimmy? Where on earth did you find him, Harriet? Oh, who cares? I ain't gonna be a cloggy train for the next 40 years! Let's rock, people! Whoa! How you all doing, America? Harriet, get your Harris behind that drum kit! Janice wanted to stuff us full of bleeding crystals and Mick, thinking he's a guitar god, slamming it with their smear walls. <laughs> but it wasn't a bit of push and pull. There probably wouldn't be no magic either. That would be nice. Look, I'm not 